The tourism ministry has launched its Rediscover Jamaica campaign aimed at encouraging Jamaicans to taste, see, feel, and enjoy local tourism products. Happiness is what we do in tourism, and we want to make sure that even COVID is incapable of stopping the happiness that tourism brings. So even if COVID caused a little moment of downtime in your expressions, it's a little moment of downtime, it cannot stop the happiness that you're all about. The smiling tourism minister Edmund Bartlett was speaking at the launch of a localized campaign that could jumpstart the country's largest economic sector. As the nation's largest economic engine, tourism provides 170,000 jobs directly and 120,000 indirectly. Almost all of those people have been without a job for the past three months due to a COVID-19 induced shutdown of the sector. Before the pandemic, Across the world, travel and tourism accounted for 11% of the world's GDP and created more than 320 million jobs for workers serving 1.4 billion travelers annually. The Caribbean is the most tourism dependent region on earth. And here in Jamaica, we know that tourism is integral to our survival. Minister Bartlett says due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Jamaica has suffered the most significant economic decline it's seen in four decades. Real GDP has declined by 1.7% as of March 2020, and it's projected to decline 12 to 14% for the 18 April to June quarter. Despite the present and expected challenges, the ministry has forged ahead with opening resorts coupled with local and internationally aligned safety protocols. The establishment of designated resilient corridors is part of this approach. And I want to make the point that Jamaica is the first country in the world to establish a COVID resilience corridor for tourism. And several other countries have followed suit since. By opening in stages within key tourism regions, we can manage exposure amongst international visitors, tourism workers and residents, and maximize our ability to properly and effectively contact trace as is needed. Importantly, this also allows us to manage the demand on our resources. Our first resilient corridor along the northern coast from Negril to Port Antonio opened in mid-June, and last week, we opened the Southern Corridor from Milk River to Negril. The impact of this phase reopening has been immediate. In the first month of our border reopening, we have welcomed 40,000 visitors and resident Jamaicans with estimated earnings of some 80 million US dollars. As of July 15, thousands of tourist workers have returned to their jobs. The opening of the South Coast Resilient Corridor last week will see another five to 10,000 workers coming back to work over time. This week, tourist attractions were reopened and Minister Bartlett says he's awaiting orders to allow tourists staying along the corridor to access these locations. Now this is not a knee-jerk reaction because of COVID, because we started the staycation years ago. We might not have moved it with the energy that we should, but this is a moment when the psychosocial impact of COVID is taking its toll, so we need a release. And the wonderful products are all there. The glories of our culture awaits us. Let's go out, rediscover Jamaica, enjoy the summer, and be safe. If you're interested in taking advantage of the Rediscover Jamaica campaign, you can visit the Tourism Ministry's website for more information.